So today we are in a new space and we're just gonna show you guys a little bit of what's in here. So we got a little access here courtesy of our friend Lucas and uh, we we're doing a little collaboration on this space and uh, the company that he's working with and we're setting up a studio. Like we're setting up studio space for our YouTube videos. So you get to see that and we'll shoot a little bit more of our videos here. Uh, and I think this would be just a little temporary space until we figure out what's going on with our studio life. But here we go. Today is going to be a heartfelt video because we're going to be talking about our best and the worst moments in, in Taiwan. Taiwan. <laughs> so, should we go with the worst first? The worst, how? I feel like this is a mutual one because we were discussing before the video our worst experience in Taiwan was... You want to go first? Ladies first? Yeah, it's actually difficult to pick the worst because mm. there's three. Three? Yeah. It's actually the time you left Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. Three times. Yeah, I can kind of tell. Yeah, and I think if I have to pick the, the worst, uh, I think it was the first time. It was so perfect that we went to the trip and everything happened perfectly. And suddenly the, the trip ended and we have to say goodbye. Yep. And we didn't know when can we meet up again. Of course, we, we were planning already that, but the thing is, you never know because things happen all the time. Yep. And I remember I cried so hard when we fly back, when we were on the way back to Taiwan. And he only had four hours left over mm. in Taiwan for the flight to Canada. Mm. And we were thinking if he can go out, if he can come out. Yeah. I actually did. Yes, I was so happy. But then I cried for another three hours. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was a very painful moment for sure. I remember going through the the immigration. Yeah. So oh what are you here for? Oh I'm just gonna be oh, with my girlfriend outside just waiting. That made me want to cry again. <laughs> I remember it so vividly. Yeah. And then the immigration officer stamped, okay, go ahead. Did, did she look at you? Yeah, he's just like, okay, okay, here you go. You say your girlfriend's waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, I said, oh, I'm just gonna, I have Lego over it and then I'm just gonna meet my girlfriend here uh, just for a few hours. <sighs> I was like, oh. They understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad, but yeah. it actually is a very good memory because that was the place we came up for Victor and Grace to get channel and the good name. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's when we were like, oh, what if we try a YouTube channel or like, you yeah. know, just share our memories there. And then here we are, two years later. Oh, I need to drag myself <laughs> out of the memory. It's just so <laughs> sad. Does it take you back? Yeah. For me, it's actually the same. Like it's 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 when I leave Taiwan. Like it's it's a place where like where we kind of really know each other. Oh. <laughs> the the hardest time for you probably was the second time. I think it was the second time. The second time was like I saw you have tears in your yeah, eyes. Yeah, I think I think it was it was this it was it was the worst because it's like when is this gonna end? To me I just didn't mm. I I was thinking like I don't want this to happen again. Like I don't want you to it just feels like a breakup every single time. If you're in a long distance relationship <laughs> it just feels like a breakup all the time. And spending that second time in Taiwan oh. was actually the first Chinese New Year I had oh, here. Oh, yep. And it's something that like, oh, got introduced to your family. Did. And, you know, getting more of Taiwan with us, like mm. being together. So it was very, a very special moment. Yes. So, yeah, it's like you, it's, this, the answer is the same for us. I left Taiwan as the worst moments of my life. Yeah. Uh, and then me. Leave. Watching you leave. Yeah. Oh, watching you leave, like going to the like, gate. <laughs> I was like, is that the gate? Yeah, the security. Like, that's the, the worst part. That's the worst part. Because I'm just like, 
where is she, where is she? And then split second, you're gone. And I'm just like, fuck. Look? Yeah, and then like, I, I look, I look, I look, I look male. You can't see from me. Yeah, it's one of those hard things. <laughs> and the yeah. most awkward part is after you left, and I need to turn right, because I yeah. need to leave. Yeah. And then people are like, ooh. <laughs> 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 and I still like. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on to the best ooh. part. Okay. The best moment I had in Taiwan, I think it was last year. Mm. Remember, we went to Green Island for around a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the whole trip was perfect. Yeah, it was really good. But there's one moment I feel like, oh my god, this is paradise. Can you try? Can you try to guess? I feel like it was one of the sunrise moments. Oh, right, that was that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were saying like scuba diving because it was perfect as well. It's, it's so clear. It's pretty good. The reason why I think it's the best because one, we really made it. We woke up early. Mm. It's really tough for us because we're not morning person, but we feel like. We had to do it because the wind. You you never know if the wind will change. Yeah, because there's so many circumstances that we really need to seize it, the opportunity. But mm. and then we made it. We woke up and then we went all the way up to Niu Tou Shan, mm. the mountain, and then we finally saw the sunrise. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, the sunrise was totally out of my expectation because like you have the like endless green grass. Yes. And, and the then, sunlight like rise from the ocean. Yeah, and then there's a, the cliff, and then there's a little island on there. Yeah. Like if you guys haven't seen the Green Island video we made last year, it'll be uh -huh. here. Watch that. Amazing. And then go back to this video. You'll you'll recognize her. But we're gonna show some clips here. We just enjoy that moment. And then at the end, like we were just there, just the two of us. Oh. And Green Island was busy at that time. Yeah, I think people go to ocean, the beach. For sunrise, something like that. They probably want to get like early tour to yeah. go to go scuba diving, but we were the one who went up. Yeah, <laughs> we went up instead of down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the perfect moment for me. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Okay, how about you? For me, I think for me is more personal. But like, I guess this is personal. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I guess for me is more not the view but the experience. Okay, do you want to guess? Seafood? <laughs> no, it's not food. It's not, not an AK. No. It's just more experience. Uh, this happened last year, and this was my second Chinese New Year. Oh. And I feel like as a foreigner, and if mm. you don't have any friends or family, it kind of gets lonely in a foreign place. Mm. So, with this being in mind, the second Chinese New Year that I've had here was the biggest Chinese New Year I've had as well because <laughs> so it was busy. it was with your extended family <laughs> so everyone was in just like this big hall and then we had dinner like the, there was a little party and then <laughs> it was like it was something and it wasn't like Oh, I'm just there as a guest. Like I really felt like I was a part of the family. <laughs> People keep talking to you. Yeah, even and the younger one and the older. I one. like the kids. The kids are like uh, very, very jolly to talk to me and play with me. <laughs> 对， and it's just so not fair. I mean, they're my nephew and niece. And come on, we've been together for so long. But then, the first time you showed up, they just won't stop. Talking to you and play yeah. with you. There was one time after Chinese New Year, there was a wedding that we oh, went to yeah, your yeah. cousin's wedding, and then uh, the two your two nep nephews nephews. I was just like, "Hey, look, look, look!" And then I'm like, like oh, the yeah, other you, person, you, I'm like, "Okay." You sit in the middle. And then I'm playing. I'm like, "Okay, you know, wait, wait, wait." And I'm like, "Whoa!" whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, and I was there in the corner watching everything. <laughs> so yeah, it's like it's just you know an experience like. I think a lot of a lot of foreigners can attest to this that if they go to a different country mm. alone, mm. like you know, you make new friends, you create your own family, even though you're not related. In this case, like eventually, we're gonna be related by law, mm. so it's nice. It's very nice. Soon enough, you will experience it again. Yeah, <laughs> this year. This year. Chinese New Year. <laughs> Best moment in Taiwan. Oh, 
that is about for this video, guys. And what's your best and worst moment here in Taiwan? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear your story. Yes. And thank you for everyone who has subscribed to our mm. channel and even joined the membership. It means a lot to us. We'll see you guys in the next video. video. I won't run away.